CO2 is making our planet more fragrant, eating in the new activism, and when it comes to global warming, there are six Americas. This is Planet 100. Welcome to Planet 100, the top environmental news stories of the day in 100 seconds or less. I'm Sarah Backhouse and it's Thursday, February 11th. According to a new scientific review, there's one pleasant side effect of global warming. It's making our planet more fragrant. But before your olfactory organs celebrate, scientists have a few words of warning. The surge in fragrance is a result of plants releasing greater levels of biogenic volatile organic compounds, or BVOCs. The increase has been exponential, 10% in the past 30 years, with an expected 30 to 40% increase with the 2 to 3 degree warming projected for the next decades. The consequences of rising BVOCs are complex possibly endangering the ecosystem by confusing pollinators like bees and altering plant reproduction. Now here's Catherine Goldstein with Webvine. Thanks Sarah. HuffPost Green is launching a new challenge to get you away from takeout, off processed convenience foods and into the kitchen. Starting February 22nd, we're inviting our readers to take the Eat In for a Week challenge. Inspired by Kathy Irway, the blogger and author who didn't eat out in New York for two years, the idea is that you, if you actually make your own food, you can start to learn more about making good decisions for you and the planet. It's going to be a lot of fun, and we're going to have tons of resources to help you out. You can sign up on HuffPost Green. Thanks, Catherine. And finally, a new study by Yale University has identified that there are six different Americas when it comes to public awareness on climate issues, the largest being very concerned about global warming. And that's our show for today. See you tomorrow for more Planet 100 news.